Keep the bench or buckets? Oh my god. I'm just asking. Bench, brother. Bench. bench. Absolutely. Column shifter or floor shifter? Column. Trying to change the motor, the transmission. Well, I'm gonna do the look, I'm gonna do the motor and transmission. I'm just asking. Just keep it. Just keep it. Okay. Just keep it OG, brother. I like OG. We can. I like OG. And there's nothing like a bench seat. We need more of those nowadays so your woman can sit nice and close to you. What's up, party people? Skag man, the Chevrolet man today, not Lincoln. Uh, if you're just joining the channel, I wanted to bring you up to speed on our latest project, and this is a 1984 El Camino Conquista, which was basically just an appearance package from Chevrolet, paint, badging, you know, nothing real fancy, but it's nice. Uh, cliff Notes, this was my dad's car. Uh, my brother and I, we went and we rescued it from its resting place. I want you to join us on this project. It's gonna be a joint venture joint custody between my brother and I. So if you saw the last video, you know, my brother Mick and I, we have very differing opinions on where to go with this car. And he's on his way over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hash out the details and put together a plan for the restoration of Project Pops. <laughs> Somebody's happy to see you. interior and we did hash this out so for the interior what we're going to do is we're going to keep the original seat the bench seat I, you know i was kind of leaning towards buckets but you know it's like i, I could take either or so we're going to keep the original bench seat we're going to clean up the dash um still on the fence about the gauges um but we're going to keep the column shifter new carpet new door seals clean up the door cards and new headliner as far as the radio goes, we're going to keep the factory head unit, tape deck and all. And we might put a little bit of modern um, flair behind it, maybe an amp, definitely new speakers, Bluetooth, because I can't imagine driving this beautiful, beautiful machine without tunes. You know me and my tunes. As far as the exterior, now we are going to keep the original color, not paint. So we are going to repaint it because the elements did do a number on this. Plus we have a few dings and dents here and there. So we're gonna get those squared away. 
and uh, but we are going to go back with the original color. We also decided that if not using the original wheels, um, which we might refurbish anyway just to have them, uh, we might go with a modern version of the same wheel. So basically the same design, just a larger diameter. So maybe a 16 or, or an 18, uh, but basically keeping it looking stock, but with a little modern flair. As far as the trim, we decided that we are gonna keep the trim because I like them clean, but with the two-tone, the trim just works for it. So with the two different colors, we're gonna keep the trim. So we'll pull the trim off, clean that up, and that brings us to the front of the car. So we will also refurbish the grill, take care of the bumper fillers. The next issue was the headlights. What do we wanna do here? I think what we're gonna do is just pull those old seal beams out and maybe go with an LED. We haven't really decided if we're gonna do with just a modern LED or if we're gonna go with something funky like halos. But that's kind of still on the table, but that's one of the last things we will do when we put the car back together. And that brings us to the last thing on the list. The 305. The big money item. The all show or no go. The smoker. Y'all saw it. She smokes. And I, I'm not talking Virginia Slims. I'm talking camel non-filtered smoke. We're going to do the LS swap. Hey, you know, surprisingly enough, my brother, he, he's not totally against it. I think I kind of talked him into it, you know, with that whole, uh, if you're going to rebuild a 305 and replace a tranny, you might as well update. But anyway, yeah, so it's getting an LS.